Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. Sometimes when you create an overlay for your videos, you get an unwanted artifact. I share how you can use Canva to get rid of that artifact. You will also learn a few new tips and tricks that will help you with perfect placement. Let's get started. I'm going to show you two clips. One where I use the chroma key in the editing program for this animation and the second where I did not use chroma key and I want you to tell me which one looks better clip one or clip two let's take a look how did I make it so that the chroma key or the green screen effect did not have any green artifact with that second clip. And this is something that can be used for free or for pro. What you're gonna wanna do is upload the clip where you want an animation. And yes, that means taking a small little portion where you want your animation, downloading it, exporting it from your program, and then uploading it in to Canva. However, it really does create a crisp, sharp outline that you cannot get using chroma key or the green or blue screen effect. If you want to add a clip to Canva, all you need to do is click upload media and pull your clip from wherever you downloaded it into. Right click, set video as background, and now I can take my clip here and drag it down to where I would like it. Once you get your animations or whatever, and let's even show you this. Let's say you want your animation to be a subscribe animation. So let's look at graphics and find one that's animated. Apply filter. I've got this. That one might be the best one, but I wouldn't have to put it on a green screen. And MP4 video, you'll download the page that has your video clip on it. You'll be able to put it back in to your video editing program. Now let's take a look at that same clip with the subscribe animation. You gonna come join me? This is the perfect segue for perfect placement. I want to take a look at a video I did with my husband on talking about our Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. I needed to add the words 24 hours, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it, how large to make it, and alignment. Because if I can set it up, so that it has perfect alignment and it looks great in Canva, then I don't have to worry about needing something behind it to make it stand out. I print screen the image and put that image in Canva. You're working with your editing program, whether it's ShotCut, OpenShot, DaVinci Resolve, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of different editing programs people work with. You have your image in your editing program. I'm just gonna use this. What I would do, and I'm on Windows, I'm not sure how to snip with a Mac, but if you do, leave a comment below. I'm gonna shift Windows and then S, and something pops up for me that will allow me to just take the little image on the screen. It's in the perfect ratio, so I've got it. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna paste it in, Control V. Set image as background. Do I want words here? Do I want words here? How do I want it placed? Am I gonna do a long line here? Well, so then you can add your text. Let's say that this is gonna be your text. It allows me to go, you can't really read huge sale or whatever you write on there because it needs something. Well, in this case, it might just need a box. You know, it might need a change of color. 
or it might need a bunch of text effects to get it to stand out like I did here. If you want to know how to create this look, then I recommend checking out the video that will be in the info card. And you can click on that at any time, let's see here, and it will pull out videos that are recommended for you. Let's get back to this. But that's how I get perfect placement. I just take a screenshot of the image and then I'm able to put it where I want it. So here's an image of my husband and me and we're gonna take this up here. It was a print screen, but that's about where we were during the entire segment. I can take this and figure out where center is. I can figure out, do I want it lower or higher? Obviously, I don't want it right here, but let's say that I want it here. What do I do next? I get rid of the background. That's important. And it really doesn't matter what your background color is. However, if you do not have Canva Pro, you need to know how your chroma key function works. The Canva Pro trick is download MPG transparent background page five. Save download settings is gonna be beneficial for me as a content creator. It looks like it's coming up green, but it's not. It actually came down clear, but let's take a look at this on page five without it. I'll go show you the difference in this tutorial. You'll be able to see what the difference is between the two and let's check that out right now. Thank you so much for learning Canva with me today. Tune in on Friday to see more about the Canva green screen with some free tips for our frugal subscribers. Double check to make sure that you are subscribed so you can tune in on future videos. If you like today's Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, let me know by commenting and giving a like. And I know that you want to watch one of these lessons right now. See you next time. Bye.